Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using Felicity Jane papers and embellishments for my layout. I am going to use a piece of basil cardstock as my background. I did cut it down to 9 by 12. Right there I just showed you the sketch I'm going to be using. It is by Laura Whitaker and it is the one that was on her site from October 1st, 2014. Now the sketch did call for a circular element which I cut on my silhouette and I also called for pieces of paper at the top right hand corner and bottom left hand corner of the layout. So I did use one of the Felicity Jane papers that had black hearts on them and I cut the triangles out of there. You can see how they're laying down the background. This piece right here, the one with flowers on it, is going to serve as the banner element on the sketch. And that pink and white gingham piece is going to serve as the strip that goes underneath the banner. Right like that. Now this is a photo of my Aunt Tony and my Uncle Leo. This is the very first layout I have done of either one of them. So this is kind of the very first time they're being introduced into my albums. I did not write my journaling on this just yet. I'm not exactly sure what I want to talk about with them. I just had pulled this photo off of Facebook. It was their anniversary photo, I believe. I think they've been married for like 40 years or some crazy thing like that and I went ahead and pulled it off of there last year maybe and printed it out and just never got around to scrapping it. Okay you can see where I took the corners and I went ahead and backed the the um, edges of them with some black cardstock. Here I cut the banner part off of that floral paper because I wanted a little bit more of the flowers showing. The way it was it was too long. So, so uh, most of that flower was tucked underneath the photo, but I wanted more of that color. Here I'm going to cut another banner and I'm going to put it at the top left hand side of my layout. Right there I was just cutting the, the notches out of it. And I'm also going to cut a piece of that gingham and use that as well. It's kind of mimicking the bottom part. Now I am going to want something a little more, it's just not popping for me, so I am going to take those gingham pieces, both the strip at the top and the strip at the bottom, and I'm going to back them on some white, or not white, nope, black cardstock as well, and then I'm going to put them back where they were, right like that. So that's basic layout of the sketch. Now see, I'm going to run into this problem, look how small that circle is. Right here I'm measuring it because I wanted to put my title around that circle. And the title is going to be Tony the Tiger, Leo the Lion. That's just what we have always called him, Tony the Tiger and Leo the Lion, Aunt Tony and Uncle Leo. So here I'm measuring the, that's the paper that I used for the circle, that's the back side of it. But I'm seeing if I had enough room to make a circle with that same paper only a bigger. I do not. So what I end up doing is taking this pink circle and I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to curve Tony the Tiger out of those little white foam letters right here. And then I'm going to co curve Leo the Lion along the bottom, right like that, see? And then I just tuck them under the photo. So it's not really a circle, but it's a circular element. I did take out the Heidi Swap Color Shine and Blush, and also the Heidi Swap Color Shine and Seafoam sea foam and gave it a splatter on the background with nothing on there because I've been not having very good luck with my splatters lately. So it is Friday, June 1st and this video is going to go up tomorrow. I cannot remember the last time I did a video like the day before it was supposed to go up. You know I'm always doing the things in advance and I haven't been. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything, so I am uh, just sitting here trying to get this done so it can go up tomorrow. We had the pool guy and also the spa person come out this evening and teach us how to use the pool in the spa. I know how to use the pool. That's not what I meant. We know how to use a pool, but how to like maintain it. I know how to use it, right? Jump in and splash. There you go. 
Okay, so I am going to build that cluster up there at the top. It's what I originally had laid down. I did take those foam stickers out again, and I'm just going to write love on there just to kind of give it the same element. Again, repeating down what is around that photo with the title. I will show you um, the packaging for it. I think this is from that Paige Evans collection, and it had the white on one side and the navy blue on the other. I still have yet to use the navy blue. I was really excited when I got those. I was excited to have that navy blue, and I can't believe I still haven't broken into them, but I haven't. I'm going to go ahead and commit to the placement of my triangles and also of the circle and the banners and the strip. Just trying to get them just right. So see, they're not on top of each other like a circle. They're a little bit offset. The, the top cir half circle is a little more closer to the left-hand side, and the bottom of the circle is a little more to the right-hand side. I am going to pop my photo up on some foam tape, right like that. Also that um, strip, because I had glued the photo to that strip. It was just kind of part of the same element. Right here I'm cutting off some more foam tape. I'm going to put it under the banner down at the bottom and also the banner up at the top and also the left hand side of that strip with love on it just because it was kind of drooping downwards. I didn't like the way it looked so I went ahead and popped that up a little bit too. Right like that. Okay, so here's where we are going to go ahead and start with the embellishments. I am taking out several different Felicity Jane embellishment packs and going through them. In the end, this does end up very, very simple, and I am going to lose footage because of course I am. I did pull out a few of those little tags, and you can see I start lining them up along the bottom left of the corner. If you can see the sketch right up there in the top right, it has that banner that goes along the bottom of the photo and I was going to mimic that. In the end I decide not to and what I end up doing is in the most recent Felicity Jane kit I got there were some circle die cuts. They're white with a heart outline and then also there were some circle um, chipboard pieces. So I pulled out a few of those. So what I'm going to do and this is the portion that is going to be lost is I'm just going to use a white die cut circle with one of the chipboard pieces by Tony. The same thing I'm going to use down there at the bottom right hand side of the photo and then I'm just going to put one of those circular chipboard pieces up at the top next to love. Here I'm still just going through some of the stuff that was in the packs and I didn't find anything that I particularly loved but right there you can see where those die cuts and then those chipboard pieces are already put down. I am taking out some of the shiny Felicity Jane sequins and scattering those around the page. I do have two different types of sequins from Felicity Jane. One's kind of a matte and it has ridges around it. You've seen me use those. I love those. But on this one, I used more of the shiny gold. And that's really the only gold element on this entire page is going to be the sequins. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick those down with some liquid glue. And after I do that, I don't do anything else to this layout. And I also did not bring this one up to the camera to show you. So here are some still photos. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.